Welcome to the Pit Stop Tire Pros. Today we are talking vehicle mounted EMP protection. But which one should you choose? We searched for the options on the market and these are what we found. Let's start with EMP shield first. So this is the new and much smaller EMP protection device from EMP shield. So the EMP shield is an electrical shunt that takes the excess voltage generated by an EMP lightning strike or solar flare and acts as a pressure release valve for that excess voltage. This device does this by automatically detecting anywhere between 18 to 21 volts and takes that excess voltage and dumps it into the ground or the chassis of the vehicle. It does this in about a billionth of a second and they're very easy to install. So we're gonna go ahead and install this on this vehicle. First, I like to clean the area of the body that I plan on mounting the device using some isopropyl alcohol directly on the surface. Then after mounting, I tuck in the excess wire behind the battery as I plan on going to a dual battery setup, so I'll need the extra wire to set it up in the future. The device has three leads, black as a neutral, green to my ground, and red to the positive terminal of the battery. I first start with my neutral wire, connecting to the negative post of the battery. Then remove the ground cable that is connected to the body and add my green wire there and lastly, connecting my red wire to the positive post of the battery. So we have a couple of additional products from Faraday Defense. Now the EMP shield is kind of a all-in-one type device. It has a very, very high uh, output for being able to shunt uh, high voltage frequencies. Um, these are another product. Um, you can look on EMP Doctor. Dr. Arthur Bradley talks about these trap devices or transient reducing auxiliary plugs, as well as high saturation ferrites. And essentially what these are doing is these are capturing all of those high frequencies of electrical voltage and capturing it into these devices. Um, Dr. Bradley talks about having multiple points of, of absorption. So there are essentially three with these. Um, one on each of the electrical plug leads of the battery, and then one that goes between the battery here, between the positive and negative. So these essentially just clamp into this tubular style ferrite, and these are high saturation, so high amounts of voltage that run through your typical broadband ferrite um, aren't going, are going to basically oversaturate most broadband ferrites that you can find on the market. These high saturation ferrites essentially are made for high amounts of voltage like you would see in a car battery um, or things that would peak through a car battery wire that's very conductive because of the thickness of it. And so these are especially made for these types of situations where they make these high saturations. Other purposes you would see is like into the three leads of an, uh, of an electrical box on the side of your house for main service. So we're gonna go ahead and install these three items and make this vehicle with three points of protection for EMP protection on this uh, Toyota Land Cruiser. Super easy, just open the clamps and strap them to the largest wire or bundle that goes to the positive and negative sides of the battery. You may have to remove some of the protective conduit to fit. Uh, now we're going to do the uh, battery side, which is basically we're going to start with this negative side here. We're going to take these um, little nuts off the terminals and we're just going to wire in these two connectors on either side. And that's pretty much it. Start with the negative, end up on the positive. Um, if you swap out the battery at any point in time, you just take this off and then just put it on the new one. Now either options can work. One as a standalone premium option or the multi-point transient reduction, which is definitely the less expensive option. But if you're in the market and want the peace of mind of having a vehicle that is EMP protected of any kind, be sure to use the links below at shop.faradaydefense.com and empshield.com and use the promo code PREPARED23 for a discount for either website. The last device we have is a 12 volt DC trap and is easily plugged into an empty outlet providing that multi-point reduction that Dr. Bradley states is the key. Plug it in and it's good to go. With the EMP shield, the only electrical draw is a very small green LED indicator and with all of the Faraday Defense products, there is no draw at all. So no worry that these devices will drain the battery. 
If you love the preparedness kinds of content when it comes to vehicles, it's definitely something we love to touch on. And if you find value in the amount of research and time it takes for us to find and understand how these work and are installed, consider subscribing or just liking if you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you in the next one.